Oh, well. Um. Wait, before Rita goes too far. Yeah. And unveils that image. <laughs> <laughs> too late. <laughs> uh, Abel is going to say, Oh, Rita. Still a turn, still holding her face. You gonna apologize? No, he's gonna jog up and uh, get down on one knee. <laughs> okay, she'll uh, just kind of look a bit surprised. Rita. What? And then he's gonna fiddle with your uh, foot. Saying, Shoes untied. Don't want you tripping on your way down the pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. This doesn't mean I'll forgive you, she'll say. Just kind of waiting for you to finish tying her shoe. I feel the same. He's gonna stand uh, back up, say, all right, uh, into the breach. She shuffles like a baby with tiny shoes. She, her shoes are tied together. She doesn't know what's going on. No, um, <laughs> Abel is going to feel the string he tied around your ankle <laughs> begin to tighten as he follows behind it from a distance. Amazing. Hell yeah. Oh my God. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm sad there wasn't a proposal, but okay. <laughs> Yeah, because she's earned that good faith. <laughs> <laughs> I feel in contrast, I just sort of play to the dynamics I think are needed, and with the entire crew, <laughs> this completely oblivious, I'm sort of leaning into being the relatively uh, competent, mm -hmm. intellectually person. Hell yeah. You'll be the first to die. Yeah, the yeah, relatively cool. competent black man. Take <laughs> <laughs> it out for sure. I'll be fine. <laughs> all right guys i'm just gonna go take a shower for no reason <laughs> i'm the final girl obviously megan's just standing there like mm -hmm. yeah um so as we travel further in the pyramid you open up to a extremely wide room um that has its own natural light it appears there's a relatively large prism in the ceiling that's actually giving light to this entire like um call it i guess like shrine almost and in the center stands a massive tree um let's say 200 feet tall um, yep. growing apples um Amongst it are also smaller trees doing the same thing. Um, the smell's intoxicating to you. Oh yeah, she's gonna reach up for one. Is there anything closer than one on the ground? Yes, there's apples on the ground. <laughs> I haven't eaten all day, Rita will say. Just kind of holding one. Holy shit, these VC will think of anything. <laughs> Oh my you God. see. <laughs> um, yeah, she'll take a bite. It tastes great. Um, Grab another one. Oh, no, you're not finished with that one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you keep eating it. And then once you get down to the core, you kind of just stop. But then you want to keep going. Oh no. Oh no. I begin to consume essentially the entire thing. Core, seeds, and all. Rita, wait! <laughs> Those seeds contain she... trace amounts of cyanide. <laughs> if you eat I'll need more. 50 to 70 of these apples, you might be in danger. <laughs> um, she's immediately scrounging on the floor and trying to like pull more into her mouth. Could at least pick some. <laughs> He's not even listening anymore. She's like a rabbit animal cut loose. I'm gonna pick one oh. up and uh, flip open a pocket knife to cut it in half with. Oh. All right. Um. You wanna do a roll? Nope. Oh. <laughs> if, it's, if that's required, of me, I'll me. do nothing. <laughs> Right, Skip right. is filming this apple. and not eating apples. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to figure out what's going on right now. You probably want to 
Sup needs to do something. Dr. Blurred's taking notes as he watches you eat apple. Um, if anyone tries to eat an apple, Rita frantically runs over and grabs it out of your hands. <laughs> if you even touch an apple, she's fucking grabbing it. Rita, are you... You greedy bitch. First you take all the men, and now you want all the apples? <laughs> well, not all the men, Megan. Shut up, weirdo. Well <laughs> Hands off. I'm like 12. I'll have you know, I tried to defend your honor in, a, in one of the times you weren't here. And that earns me something. And that earns me. I did, all, I did everything right. I deserve something. this! <laughs> <laughs> it's the only good thing we found thus far, she'll say, just kind of eating. And they're not yours. And why are they yours? Because I took them, she'll say. Uh, so, you begin to hear almost like a painful moan coming from the largest tree. Yeah. Um, cool. Yeah. <laughs> Probably people. Uh, could I do a survey on the room, please? Yeah, go for it. What are we talking here? <laughs> oh, risky standard right now. It's fine. Wow. <laughs> no. I, I am locked in. I am in a <laughs> fugue state. <laughs> um I'll give you the rest of the good TV then. Um you begin taking shots of the trees around you and as you inspect them further, you can kinda see some of them almost look like you can kinda make human parts from them. Um as if in time these is pe or these people are slowly turned into trees. Um, mm. You kind of notice scraps of clothing around the bases of them too. Uh, <laughs> um, <laughs> these trees is people. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> these trees is fucked up. Skip. Uh, <laughs> Skip immediately moves to stop Rita from what she is doing and says, Rita, Rita, stop. The Vietnamese are turning people into trees. If <laughs> <laughs> you, you go to reach to grab her, she bites at your finger. Almost with the intent to pull the thumb from your uh, wrist. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Be a trees, wow, okay. <laughs> Be in the trees. Oh no. Uh, Skip is going to point at Atlas and say, Control her! <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, hold, hold on there, Skip. That's a slightly re regressive way of thinking. <laughs> we could be killed by being politically correct. <laughs> <laughs> now's not the time for the PC police. The VC could be here any second. <laughs> I'm convinced I slap Rita hard. <laughs> yeah, she uh, falls and crumples to the ground. None of you no. saw anything. Uh, Skip, Skip proceeds to ignore that starting now <laughs> and says, look, look, there's clothes at the base. There's people in the trees. I don't know what's going to happen to her, he says. I'm going to approach uh, one of them and put my hand on it appraisingly as though I understand anything. My God. <laughs> um. If we make it out alive, I'm going to be a national hero. <laughs> Dr. Blurg's pocketing the apples. Huh. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Cool. Like that. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> I'm going to regret asking, but Dr. 
Blurg. How could such a thing happen to a person? Sorry, I couldn't quite hear that last thing you said. That thing. Could you please repeat, Doctor? How could such a thing happen to a person? <laughs> what? Uh, eating apples? Turning into a. Who do you think you are? Well, I suppose it would start with you growing bark. But not like the peppermint kind of bark you have at Christmas, like tree bark. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm going to slap Dr. Blurk as well. <laughs> <laughs> Please gonna... stop, I'm getting erect. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to stride across the room and grip Atlas by the shoulders and say, Daniels, there are few functioning brain cells in this room. We need to pull ourselves together and determine a plan out of here. Because the doctor I once trusted has failed me. The woman I once claimed to be into a fair amount. The woman I once claimed to be a 7 out of 10 is rabbit on the floor eating apples. Please, you're the heart of this show. I need you to, to take the reins. We need to solve this mystery. Or, not that, we need to leave. Uh, have we not solved the mystery? Can we identify any of these trees as missing yeah, teens? Yeah. It can't be Skip. He is loosely attached to reality. Yeah, I guess that's the point. Yeah, that's a good point. Start he'll, looking for wallets. He'll say, um... <laughs> hmm. <laughs> yes, yeah. Got, yeah, we've got our evidence right here. All we need to do is collect some of these scraps... Compare it against the clothes of the teens who went missing, and get out of Dodge. I'd say this mystery is complete. There's no reason to mess around with this anymore. I'm actually going to do a study with that information. There we go. Yeah, give us a fat yeah. three. Take if you can take, you take stress. Now is the time. Yeah. If if you don't mind, can I take some stress to add additional dice, Kurt? Yeah, that's how it works. You take. Two, I'd like to take two stress thought. to get two more dice. There we go. Nope. One uh, more. It's one dice. Okay, so I'll take one stress to get one dice. Nope, <laughs> nope. Two stress to get one dice if you're doing it yourself. Yes. So it helps you they take one stress to get an additional die. Yeah, but can I take two and get two dice? <laughs> no. Because <laughs> no. you it's take a, two to get one. It's his oh, birthday. Yeah. Let him have it. <laughs> he oh, has a pretty oh, nice one. two to get one. Okay. Yeah, you got it. <laughs> he asked very nicely. Yeah, that was very polite. Wait, what? He oh, rolled one. Oh my god. <laughs> no worries, man. Roll again. <laughs> you already succeeded. That's the good news. All right. Woo! I, I get it. I'm like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. These trees are people. <laughs> and then I look at them again. These trees are teens. Teen people. These sexy, are trees. Sexy teens. <laughs> and then I start pointing at them and I'm like, this is the breeding pair. This is the virgin. What did you just say? What? Breeding pair. <laughs> Haven't you people seen movies? <laughs> <laughs> Not no, no. Those movies will put you in jail. The only movie, I, the only movies I watch are the Boondock Saints, and Reservoir Dogs. I'm reading. Oh no. Are you in college? <laughs> and, and also Fight Club, but I interpret it in a way that it's not good. <laughs> I like, to think, um, I like to think that I'm a student of life and that the degree is just a couple years off. <laughs> yeah. Um, under the moonlight, Dr. Blurg, as you study the trees, gather up scraps around them. Even kind of begin to see their faces. Just an absolute pain. Um, knowing there's probably nothing you can do from at this point with your limited knowledge of phrenology. <laughs> uh, actually... What I'm going to look at is, um, uh, does it look like they have apple in their mouth? Um, I can give you this. Um, the trees themselves kind of have like a look like almost like blue, essentially roots extending out from under them, but you really can't see any like. They don't really have a mouth. It's more just you can almost see like a face, and if you know what I mean, it's not.
they don't have a mouth anymore. It's just more of a shape of a face at this point. Okay. Ugh. Does it look like the like like it erupted from where their stomach would be? Uh yes. Okay. I say the apples it emerged from their stomachs. And then I say and I say and look at the blue. Blue is the national color of many countries. Okay. I think no, we'll be no. Able to make some racial determinations <laughs> no, of these no. children. <laughs> no. I'd say I'd say you struck gold a sentence ago. We we can end it there. You don't need to perform any conjecture. Uh, Rita, be Costa Rican, Ukrainian. <laughs> Rita Rita's I'm gonna, on the ground writhing. Go I'm ahead. Need you over here. Uh, Bosnia Herzegovina. Rita's on the ground writhing. I pull out an apple and be like, here, this one pass the pain. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, no. I, actually, I would be serious and say, she hasn't been eating the apples, has she? <laughs> Are you fucking asleep? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, the delivery was so good. Yeah. The only thing that happened the first like five minutes and he missed it. Skip is going to turn to Atlas and say, You know what you need to do? There's two options. You either cram your hand down her throat and she throws up, or you are the one to put her down. Oh, I say option option three is I operate as I pull out my multi tool. It's like an <laughs> Allen key. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, um, <laughs> as you quibble amongst yourselves, you can start to turn your <laughs> <backs> again, <laughs> drawing closer. I'm fully <laughs> waiting for Johnny now, Appleseed to drop in from the Oh my way. god. Skip is going to hush everyone and say, Tch. The trees have eyes. <laughs> yeah, you can hear the telltale sound of a pickaxe hitting stone approaching god fucking damn it <laughs> uh yeah Abel will say uh you deal with her I'll deal with him <laughs> I'm going to look at um what's your character's name Kane oh mine I'm Rita and she didn't eat any animals did she <laughs> <laughs> no. Rita, Rita, did you have any apples? <laughs> you have to tell me. And I, I'm holding an apple right in front of you. You can see glazed eyes just trying to refocus, and once they lock on the apple, she's just going to try to like reach out and grab it. I throw it across the room like, no, no, do I have consent to operate? We need to remove the apples. Why did he bring that over? <laughs> she looks like she wants to crawl and grab the apple. Obviously, not a very like. There's very little left of this woman. You, what are you doing? I'm uh, gonna Skip is Skip is gonna say, "Do we need to do, Doctor?" I'm. I gotta. I gotta say, it's a surprising element, new element to you that consent is something that suddenly matters. A doctor always needs to rely on consent. Yes, but a doctor. Hold on, I have an idea. At Hell least a need... white doctor. Yes, exactly. <laughs> In this woke this climate. This is oh. why we have culture, and that's why some people are trying to ruin it. And who's we? Their I have DEI. an idea. What, what do you got, Jack? I grab, um, fucking, uh, Abel, uh, vape. I grab you back. Happens, I love you too. Which happens, it, it's apple pie, uh, <laughs> spice. <laughs> Damn, I should have made that joke. I was I was gonna say when he got in the room and smelled apples, he switched in and like an apple pie cartridge. <laughs> switched in an apple pie with a slice of uh, American cheese in reference to one of his favorite movies, Taxi Driver. Oh, I thought it was thank you for smoking. <laughs> <laughs> and he's gonna he's, so he's gonna grab the uh, the vape, and he's gonna pass it to. Uh, uh, Cade's character. Rita, yeah. Yeah, Rita. And say, here, honey, toke this. And toke it hard, in the hopes that she hits it so hard, she starts 
coughing, gagging, and throwing up. Oh. Because, you know, it's like that extra, it's that extra strong shit. You know, you vape so much that you're on that hard shit now. Yeah, you're, on that Nick, right. you're on that Nick high. I can, uh, my, my jewel vape is an actual item on my list, so I can tap it to increase the effect. I, I'd like to tell someone, someone break me off a branch of that tree. I need a bite down stick right now. <laughs> He puts hey, it in Kurt. his own mouth. Uh, uh, Skip has can... already tied a length of rope to serve that exact purpose. Kurt, can we use a jewel vape in order to make a woman throw up a primordial apple? Yeah, that seems fair. Um, I don't know. What what skill do you think best applies to this? Probably Tinker, right? Get that good vape. Uh... I don't know. What do we got? That was my first instinct. I <laughs> I could see Tinker. That makes sense because you're just trying to like overclock the jewel or the vape. I'm absolutely throwing in on this. I have two Tinker. I must. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. Go for it. Oh, well, yeah. But can you roll? <laughs> I'll take a stress <laughs> and give you an extra die. Sure. I love this canonically. Everyone else, <laughs> Skip is going to tell them to hold her down. <laughs> <laughs> like they're performing field surgery. <laughs> To grab a jewel and force it in her gob. Yes, I hold her nose closed. If you fail, I want the tree to burst out of my stomach. Mm. That would be the best. Like that's what I want the caught the wrist to be. Get the camera on. What are we talking here, Kurt? Uh, yeah, I think this has to be probably like desperate. Great, given the situation, I think this is a make or break moment for Rita. Yeah. So who I else is take, throwing I, in Atlas? I took a, I, I took I a stress for you. Yep. Okay. I, I'll take one. I'll take one. So two right, bonus. How much how tinker do you have? I have two, and that's two bonus dice. Okay. I'll add a third. Oh Hell yeah. Man. I love this scene. <laughs> I'm just this to fail, so. like, like, I'm holding her down, and I have the multi-tool like right next to her chest, breathing heavily as I'm getting closer to cut. Abel is strangling her. <laughs> uh, you need to, you need to not be. She has to breathe. It's, she's breathing. It's just hands are around the neck, and he's like inches <laughs> from indulging violence. Man, holy fuck! That's still a rough uh, run of numbers. I'm glad we yeah, got it there. Oof. I got a five. Yep. <clears throat> All right, so <laughs> you accomplish what you're trying to do. Um, Clearly, John Henry arrives. Rita begins vomiting all over the floor. Apple core seeds just begin spewing out of her. Um, <laughs> you don't relent after the first one and keep going until her stomach's clear. Um, oh. She's jazzed now. She's <laughs> nicotine high. I'm sorry. She was just gonna say between throw up. Is is the camera filming for this? Yes. Why wouldn't it be filming? When would the camera not film? <laughs> one hand, one hand on the camera, the other hand jamming <laughs> jewel in her lips. <laughs> he is with with his free hand, with his which is with his non dominant hand. <laughs> He is holding her nose closed and holding a vape in her mouth. <laughs> I, I mouth myself. I'm like, Generation C is gonna go crazy for this. Oh, uh, how do I do this? Can this desperate supposed to be a level three or is it just level two? Just level two. Um, if you yeah you yeah level two and then if you fail it then I typically gave it a level three consequence ah, I see. like that's how I broke it down okay. yeah all right um yeah I'll give you a level two um I don't know, you're just absolutely sick at this point <laughs> yeah <laughs> just bruised sternum I'm like breathing all fucked up you feel empty inside now like something's missing from you. Oh, okay. And, and it's nicotine. It's your new nicotine addiction. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, she seems hollowed out and foggy, but otherwise unharmed. 
Um, and then from across the room, you do see John Henry yet again approach and begin staring you down. <laughs> I'm going to square up guy. and <clears throat> try to match his guy. posture. Yo. Right. Yeah. Do you think Yo. he hates us because we're non-union? <laughs> <laughs> he asked how we got here. He asked if we used a train to get here. He hates y'all because you're white. I, yeah. I look at everyone and I'm like, does someone have a steam shovel? Or a mechanical <laughs> rail laying device? <laughs> I ain't... I ain't used to laying rail. But I'm more than equipped to lay pipe. Let me handle this. <laughs> Holy shit, it makes Yo. Totally sense. <laughs> Alright, what's your plan? Attack! Hell yeah. I am filming you. Upon later review of the footage, you hear Skip muttering to himself, that's the tallest damn North Vietnamese I've ever seen. <laughs> Something must be in the kook water. I was, oh I'm working so hard to not use any <laughs> yeah, slurs. Use slurs. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it is hard to play someone having a Vietnam War flashback and not say racial slurs, it turns out. <laughs> if you just leave a blank space, I can get you. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's a bleeping dead bleeping alien if I ever bleep and seen one. <laughs> Alright, maybe we try to get out while uh, Abel makes a noble sacrifice. It's not supposed to be a noble sacrifice. You know they make clocks shorter than six. <laughs> I haven't heard of it. You terrorist. <laughs> <laughs> you terrorist. <laughs> Alright, what's your what's your what's your plan of attack? Run straight at him and just punch him in the face. This whole this whole thing's been overcomplicated. I'm good at one thing and one thing only, and that's hitting things. I'm gonna fail this roll now. I gotta say that's probably gonna be limited then. If you're not what? gonna use a weapon of a kind. Well then I run up to him and shoot him in the face. <laughs> Alright, he has a that's gun. That's better. Yeah. yeah, that's good. I uh <laughs> with the camera still on the action, I turn to Atlas and I say, Provide covering fire, the rest of us need to retreat. <laughs> you pass him a pistol from out of your waistband. <laughs> No one's got any weapons for him. Go for it. Yeah, if he burnt a gun, what would the uh, fight look like? Who has a gun? Declan did have a gun. He's been he narrated that that last week. It was his uncle. Was it your uncle's? Your father's gun? It's my dad's snub nose pistol. But I mean, <laughs> I guess if I have to burn that, then I don't have it, and I can't shoot it. Oh, do you not have any load left? If I already burn it, can I use it again? Oh, okay. Oh. Yeah, the ammo would be gone. Um, fuck, is there any other weapon? Like a pocket knife even is better than nothing. I have a pocket nothing. knife. We all have yeah. multi-tools. Shit on our sheet, we could still use to stab this guy and, like, fight. Yeah, if someone wants to give him a pocket knife, I could say they bring it up to standard. Cool. Okay, there you go. I hand you the my multi-tool and say... For civilization. Ugh, no. For blood and soil. I throw the multi-tool away and I look to Atlas for a knife. <laughs> you won't... say, that's not a knife. <laughs> that's not a knife. Now this, this is a knife. And it gives you a pocket knife. It's a spoon. <laughs> no, it's a real pocket knife. And he says... <laughs> Skip somehow flashes back to reality for a moment and says... Oh, that was a great shot. <laughs> nice. Hell yeah. five. Very good. Alright, um... So, Abel, <laughs> you... Bravely take on fucking John Henry. Um... And are able to stab a knife into him. He seems <clears throat> almost unfazed by it and strikes back with his pickaxe, um, leveling you essentially square in the shoulder, it digging deep into you. Um, 
So go ahead and get a level two consequence of pickaxe. Um, <laughs> <bowl. laughs> it's not too late, Kevin. <laughs> Although his attention is solely focused on you at this point as well. So. <laughs> Skip is absolutely going to be saying retreat, 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 and fading away. <laughs> Dr. Borg is following. Yes, run away. Um, Rita, you don't want to leave. Not without some apples. Oh, man, these are, <laughs> these are really good apples. Um, Rita will pluck a few, like, using her shirt to kind of carry them. She'll just be frantically putting them in as she, like, clumsily follows behind the rest of them, though losing some good distance. Is no one minding Rita? No. I mean, if you want to try. There's a lot going on. She's an idiot child. Leave her. Just go. You don't need to do this. Yeah. <laughs> you know Skip will. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what's your plan for running? Or... Is there any other exit to this room? Yeah, the one you came from. The hallway down there you haven't gone through that way and that's where john henry came from he came from a different room oh good although actually that's a funny thing i guess if you think about it a bit long, <laughs> but hey you stop and you. think about it pretty <laughs> funny all right so let's see who's going so that that was the hallway right so who's over there i think everyone besides myself and abel right now are able to you disengage i'm attacking him again Hell yeah, good shit. Right, I would say, I mean, Reed, you can go with. They just are taking some apples with you at the moment. Um, okay. I'm up. I guess Megan, Doug. Yeah, I'm. I'm going. I'm following the cameraman. I cannot be on camera. I have to follow the cameraman. All right. How are you all trying to? What skills are you using to escape this pyramid? Uh, I'm, hunting I'm hunting for an hunting. exit. I got survey also. I also have a hunt. Hunt doesn't apply. I don't think that'd be a good skill in this because hunting's for a person. Yes, mm -hmm. true. Yeah. Survey would be more applicable if you're kind of trying to find a way. Yeah. I got yeah, one, one survey. survey. Yep. Ditto. Ditto. No survey. I have one survey. Atlas, you should do it because I, I got the, the camera. I'll film you doing it. I'll give you one, though. Okay. I'll take... Uh, I'll do the survey roll with a bonus die one. Yeah, just the one. Yep. All right. I think that's that risky standard then. A... Nice. All right. All right. Hell yeah. Abel, I love you. I know. <laughs> there you there go. You go. <laughs> Begin your speedy escape through the pyramid. Um just blindly running down hallways trying to go wherever they're actually survey mm -hmm. so you can like study the walls look for patterns and notice a few slight inclines in certain paths and head up those assuming if you keep doing so we'll get you out of there mm. um yeah all right uh, let's go back to abel abel locked in a heated battle with john henry <laughs> what's your next move <laughs> to take out my final available uh, free item or not free a, a available load taking up item <clears throat> and uh, take out pots and pans and just smash John Henry over the head so where's your sound effect for that yeah <laughs> I gotta rebind it hold on let me uh... <laughs> <laughs> yeah there, there we go yep all right <laughs> <laughs> I'll say desperate standard again. Oh! Yo! Wow! Oh, keep going, Declan. Da -da -da! Oh, your skirmish is the same thing. Alright, I'm not gonna. Alright. Wow. Oh, yeah, uh -huh. it is the same thing. Whoops. We're gonna yeah, win. You're good. <laughs> you're John Henry now. That's. Yeah. Um. 
Look at me. Perhaps I'm not John expecting a second weapon. You blindside him in the head with a pan, um, and he staggers back a bit, not able to get another swing at swing in at you. Um, what's your next move? <laughs> I drive my dad's van and <laughs> I'll, I'll give you a standard I'm not going to make you quibble over weapons at this point oh okay um, <clears throat> then I'm going to take that disorientation and uh, just uh, pat myself down feel that I'm out of items and he's just going to shrug and uh, try to one two strike break the guy's fucking head open Go for it. Desperate standard. Ooh! <laughs> Ooh. Oh, okay. Cool. Um. <laughs> you hit the... him. Yeah. You hit him hard. He gets one final swing in, it, on, uh, in on you, though, and take another two, level mm -hmm. two consequence. Um. As the pickaxe digs deep into you again, blood starts dripping down your shoulders. Um, uh, he's gonna tear through my my one remaining shoulder, and then uh, Abel's gonna look at that, and then back up, and say, uh, "Um, this coat was custom tailored for another person before I picked it up at a thrift store, but it's the principle of the thing. I thought you of all people." We'll respect the craft. And then in the one campy Sam Raimi moment of the movie, he's going to cock his hand back and there's going to be a train. True, true. <laughs> so I punch through his head. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, yeah, all right. Yeah, you crack his skull. Um, and you do so successfully. But to your surprise, as your fist levels into him, instead of hitting skull, you almost hit bark. Oh. Uh -oh. Upon further uh -oh. inspection, you realize he was afflicted as everyone else. Oh. More or less huh. taken over by a tree. Um, and he just lies there motionless on the ground. Um, and uh, straightening the lapels of his duster and bolo tie, Abel will say, uh, I think I'm going to take a cue from you all and make like a tree myself. <laughs> and he's not going to say the last part as he just leaves. <laughs> Alright, um... You're relatively able to follow behind everyone. Not quite catching up to him yet, though. Um, everyone else. <laughs> At a very leisurely pace. Puffing on his... <laughs> With on the his amount vape. Of noise they're making it's pretty easy to follow them um, there's a few apples kind of scattered on the ground yeah. that you know to God follow that <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and dr breen brand work <laughs> that's my little clue that i get i see a trail of apples as he um goes to do the motion of bringing the vape to his lips but in the in the fracas it got taken away from him so he uh walks with both hands in pockets <laughs> He's serious now. All right. I'll... Rest of the group, what's your next plan to get out of here? See, maybe we could, like, climb. Like, maybe we, instead of um, surveying, now we see that there's a slope that we need to climb up. That seems yeah. right. Yeah, sure. So maybe a prowl or something? Yeah, you can kind of <laughs> start to see sunlight. But between you and that is a relatively steep like incline, making it not quite as easy a task as you want to escape. I like the prowl in this becoming the same as like rec a guy who only wants to eat a certain kind of food every night as he keeps trying to find like a new way to recommend it to his friends. <laughs> I'm thinking, uh, let's see. Ooh, prowl sounds good, right? <laughs> <laughs> You've had it before. Yeah, because yeah, it's good. We had that last like two days ago when we hung out. <laughs> What's wrong with that though? Well, we didn't get everything on the menu though. You should try the uh, prowl. 
<laughs> There's a new chef. You're going to want to try his. It's different. Yeah, you got to try Prawl everywhere to get a sense of whether it's good here or not. Right. They have really authentic Prowl in uh, New York. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that makes sense to me. Go ahead and attempt to scale out to get to your exit. Sure. I mean, I, I can I roll? Because I'm currently, like, full up and I have a trauma. What's my roll ability right now? I think if you want to try, go for it. I'm not going to hold you back in that regard. Okay. Mm. Um, who else has Prowl that be willing to, or would want to lead? Does anyone have better than one? Oh, oh if you're trying you... to lead, no. Okay. Essentially, you can't. Okay, so I, I would just roll. Put it. Okay. Uh, I mean, let's bring it up. Let's bring it back to Atlas. He's got a one Prowl, and he's it, got Atlas. three... He's got three stress left available before trauma. Take two, give yourself a bonus dice. Come on. <laughs> Live on the edge. No, protect yourself. We have a future. No, 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 no. We have a legacy to look forward this is to. A, this is a horror movie. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, Abel <laughs> and I have a future. Yeah. <laughs> I got an apple pie I got to make. After you cook it, <laughs> Kills all the bacteria. <laughs> Kills all the ancient <laughs> evil. Uh, shit. Does anybody else have stress that they can give me for this prowl move? Or wait, no, this yeah, is a, I'm leading this. Never mind. Um, right. you need prowl to give you stress, right? Nope. I'll give you stress. Leading. <laughs> no, but he's leading, so we all need to roll. So everyone just roll prowl. <clears throat> me too. Have I caught up? Or good question. Uh... I'd say you're still trying behind. Okay. Not good. Okay. Oops. Oh, zero. Dice. Alice, no! <laughs> no! <laughs> Alice, you're taking three. Yeah. Oh, you're fucked up too. Come on, man. Yeah. <laughs> we get out, but you're gonna be fucked up. I got. Look, I have. I was able. I had to take three strats, right? Yeah. One more stress and I start taking trauma. Oh, come on. Did you fill it, though? If everything's oh, filled yeah. up, you start taking it. Oh, fuck these rules. <laughs> What's the point of the last one, then? Well, it's an indication, right? If you get yeah. up to the eight, then it's like, you. where where would that stop? Eight is the like right before the cutoff. So then when you go over, then your thing resets and you have a trauma. That's how yeah. most meters work. Right? You get, you get cleared to zero again, right? In terms of stress. <clears throat> I always thought it was once it's filled up, but I mean, you I know can't. the rules. I'm not saying I know how this no, works. Yeah. I'm yeah. saying fuck them if that's how it works. <laughs> Another mean spirited aspect of a mean spirited system. <laughs> yeah, when they take the last stress, you take a trauma. Okay, I think so. Is it a mild trauma? <laughs> yeah, it's a mild trauma. <laughs> mild plus trauma. What is you your know? Favorite? It's a mild trauma. It's like my first one, you know. <laughs> Uh, let's give you reckless. That seems appropriate for the situation, as you just overly strain yourself trying to get every single person up to make sure that no one gets left behind. Except where for... do I even put trauma? Oh, it's, it's just, just selection. The to the right of um your stress. Oh, reckless. Got it. Soft, unstable, vicious, paranoid, obsessed, haunted, cold. Got it. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. So you All the good. Make sure everyone gets up and assume. Except for Abel, who you assume is dead. Um, yeah, oh, I absolutely assume he was dead. And <laughs> you make your way outside, lost once again. Um, Abel, how are you planning on catching up to everyone else, or what's your plan? The only plan I had was a leisurely jog. Um... God, to give myself half a chance, could I argue that I'm able to wreck any obstacles in my way? <laughs> just stuff that they had to go around. I could just push it over and knock, uh, knock huh. shit down. Yeah, uh, yeah, sure. That's fair. I'm cool. Uh, then I'll I'll do that. What manner of 
obstacle do I face? Um, you're able to take a shorter route as you can kind of hear them ahead, but just see like a pile of like, there's like collapsed rock in front that's kind of blocking your way. <clears throat> I make like John Henry. Oh, I've got the pickaxe. There you go. Hell yeah. Yeah, I'll give there you that. You that's fair. Yeah, that's a... <laughs> Alright, and then someone will make, mistake you at the end of the movie for John Henry. Yeah, and then I get... <laughs> oh, it's, yeah. It like is not a living like a zombie movie. Yeah. yeah. Uh... <laughs> oh my god. It's like... You... <laughs> You're gonna want to put an orange tip on that pickaxe. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It doesn't look it's... as cool that way. <laughs> so fucked up. <laughs> yeah, actually, this is great. Uh, oh... Oh, I got I a six, like you this. can't hurt me. <laughs> I do like this. Um, yeah, you, you can't, that's true. You managed to work your way through with a pickaxe with a relative ease, as if you've done this before, but clearly you haven't. Um, and you're able to make your way to the group. Um, Atlas, you and your group emerge from the pyramid. But just behind you, you can hear the telltale clinking of the pickaxe coming up behind you. <laughs> no, I clink it in like a way that's obviously safe and friendly sounding. SOS. Skip is going to compound this by saying, God damn it, they killed him. <laughs> uh, you feel only you could quell this threat. What are you going to do? Uh, Let's see. I mean... I feel, I feel like, like I, I would be able to. I'd be able to recognize my enemy turned friend turned lover uh, easily enough. I'd say you're quite reckless right now. <laughs> yeah, you want to get in there and address the problem before it comes to you. Yeah. Oh yeah. Well, in that case, uh, I definitely uh, go ahead and try and fight him because I have a zero skirmish. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Don't worry. I hear him coming. I'm gonna go get him. You guys, you got. You go on ahead. You, uh, make sure you get this. Make sure you film this. I'm gonna okay. heroically save us all. Get out of here while you can, and I'm gonna go sacrifice myself just like my lover, Abel. Oh, oh, me, me, my friend, friend, my friend, lay Abel. Who I love. <laughs> Let's take that again. Let's get that clean. My friend who I am a lover of. Well, not like that. <laughs> I love the way he does this. To me. <laughs> <laughs> Is this PV? I don't... <laughs> so, yeah, we, so we've, we've officially entered a thing we've never done before. Yeah, I'm trying to think of how I want to resolve this. You could do both of them real skirmish. Yeah, I mean... <laughs> do you want me to do it? It would be so much fun. I mean, I don't think Abel needs to roll. I guess so. It's just because yeah, exactly... yeah, yeah. It's two clock. It would be if we we're playing in system. It'd be two clocks, and then whoever fills it first would win. I'm not. I'm not gonna. Yeah. People fight like that. It'd yeah, that would be me. way too hard. Yeah. Without breaking stride or even really changing expression, Abel smacks Atlas to the ground and only looks mildly. Uh, nonplussed after the fact. So he said, Atlas? John, head? Wait, Abel! Yes! I can't believe you survived! It's very, it's very dark, and I do am holding a pickaxe, so I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt that this isn't a racism thing. <laughs> no, 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 that's the doctor. <laughs> yes, that's a talk Fair. we need to have after the wrap of this production. Um, all right. So you all managed to make your way out of the pyramid. It is still night. It is still dark. You have <laughs> no idea where your camp is from here. I saunter up and I join the group and I say, looks like you all got out just fine. <laughs> How'd you beat John Henry, sir? By oh. earning a purple heart. I just do a real slow, like, incline of my head to meet eyes with Megan. <laughs> how, how do you think? I... I'm just very impressed is all. I just did. 
What the steam engine did. <laughs> Just did. <laughs> Rita, what you got in your pockets there? She's already eaten three of them. No, when you look at her, there's nothing there. Everything you, you think was already discarded. Her pockets are empty. There's nothing left on her. I'm, I'm juggling an apple that I picked up on the way. Oh, she's... Oh. <laughs> oh. Good TV. Better TV. That's the new Glock. Gooder Best. TV. Yeah. It might not even work outside of the pyramid. We don't know. Babe was outside the pyramid. Yeah, but Babe got made inside the pyramid, baby. <laughs> baby. Doing a lot of heavy lifting there with the quiet two syllables at the end. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Great. That's um, how they end scholarly articles. Yeah. If they were honest. <laughs> Right, yeah. You're out. It's night. So you want to get back. You well, figure out a way back at this point. I'd say we all I, survived. I'm I'm not much of a, a television expert, but if I may take some liberties, Megan, Skip, I'd say we've got some good reel on our hands. Oh, now, for sure. Skip the uh, the camera was rolling, right? <laughs> Lens cap visibly on. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, Skip. Gives you a very solemn thumbs up. <laughs> Wonderful. Now, if uh, I could I be so bold to get the fuck out of here, as to ask if anyone could get us the heck home. Rita's catatonic. Somebody else is going to have to roll. <laughs> I have a hydroponic strain that desperately needs checking in on. And the whole batch <laughs> is going to be a dog's dinner. <laughs> I mean, obviously, Atlas Daniel can take us in a direction. He's reckless. He is very sure of his directions. <laughs> oh, Find no. the second pyramid. You've given Jack a, mo a prescribed motivation to follow. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Sorry, everyone. The disgrace, nothing more dangerous. The CEO <laughs> of travel. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Atlas, you're you're leading it then. How are you doing it? Take us home. You're in charge. Wait. Um... Oh, shit, I don't have a watch. Never mind. <laughs> I still have my weather radio on. Okay. What's the weather like? We're outside. <laughs> or, I tell. Yeah. So, so what? What's the weather like? Oh, I have my weather radio. I used a fucking item slot for it. I want to know what the weather's like. Okay. Be reckless. This... Okay. It's all right. This is he was chilly acting. and foggy out right now. Nothing terrible. Okay, so I can't see the stars. No. Oh, yeah, that's true. No, you can't. All right. Do we know it's what time, what time it is? It's probably because we turned that fog machine on. <laughs> Never turned it off, did we? <laughs> we have so much fog in this forest. <laughs> we turned that fog machine on. Entire state of Washington covered in fog now for years. <laughs> the fact that it can't run out, there's no lower <laughs> limit to it. <laughs> like the bag of ever whatever ever. Yeah, ever smoking mm. bag. <laughs> what the fuck ever? <laughs> this bag of holding. <laughs> That's quote right, unquote yeah. weed. <laughs> That's what yeah. we're holding. Bag of I'm holding. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. I would like to look for our our previous footprints and follow them. Oh nice. shit! No, because we can't. Because we were lost beforehand, and then we came here, but we're still even more lost. You can source there and back. It's like not completely nonsensical. It gets us closer to where we were. All right. Well, I'll I'll do a hunt roll then to study where our footprints came from, 
and follow them back. I definitely say that's hot. Yeah, that's, what, what, I said. Yeah, that's what I said. Get you as far as where you found the original backpack. Oh, good. That's good. Because that's then we could rely on our doctor friend. Mm. Uh, mm. Uh, I, don't, I don't think that's good, but it is true. <laughs> about halfway there, we're gonna be about halfway there, we're gonna be covered with uh, blood and viscera from well, a lady like, turning into a tree. I have to say, uh, it's probably good that I have the sprained ankle because I'm probably dragging my foot. So you could probably I'm just doing it for sympathy. Different than everyone yeah. else. Yeah, good flashback. <laughs> Yeah, also, um, that fog... I don't know what we mentioned the fog machine for, but it being a sort of north star of a landmark. Like, if there's an actual foggy area, that would be something we could reference. <laughs> Alright, cool. I am gonna... I have a two in hunt. I don't know if anybody else would like to... I can't. I can't give myself any more stress. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, you can only add to it if you have that skill, right? No! No! You can no! Only, you take a stress. Are you fucking with us at this point? <laughs> Are you fucking with me? No, no. Right. Dave. If you, no matter what skill, you can always add an assist. You're I'm correct, adding. You're correct about fate. You're thinking of fate. Yes. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, um, I'm adding. I add one stress to help you, Jack. I'll add. Excellent. I'll add one stress to help. I also else. am. I mean, we might need two rolls. Some people should hold on to some stress. Then I'll. No, we it. have to get home. And I'm not gonna help. He did oh my All right, god. Right. Okay. Um, Atlas. I definitely the know team, the way home. With the team on your side, you're able to follow your footprints back to where the original backpack of the missing person was. But after that, the trail kind of just goes cold as footprints go off in random directions. As everyone's running around, you really get the feeling they really just cannot follow footprints to find the rest of the way back. I could take you here and no further. <laughs> you know, actually, um, do we still have a map and does it show the road? We don't even know what direction we're at, though. You have a map, but you're not on a trail, so it's not doing you much good right now. If we do something to, if we wander the forest, I I have a fr uh, yeah free item. It's may it's maybe stretching credulity a bit, but I think it's a, <laughs> it's a creative use of it. Um, I could lend the item my dad's van, which is to say, I walk around with the keys, clicking them until we hear a beep. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of cool. I I like that. That's yeah, that's, that's cool. That works. I'm I'm good for that. Oh yeah. Uh, but my investigations are bad rolls, so I'm not the one for it. I'm guessing probably survey. I don't know if uh, anyone has uh, binoculars or can check binoculars. I know it's foggy, but maybe you can still get a vantage point and look down. I have a camera that zooms. Oh, there you go. Never heard of it. I, I mean, I, I also have a... I could have a cell phone. I could open up my cell phone and see if we got service yet. We are, if we are canonically on the upper half of a mountain, I hate to say, in my experience, the answer is yes, absolutely, we would. <laughs> what skill, though? Who's going to roll for that? I have no stress. I mean, I could roll a survey under the auspices of a, a camera zoom. Okay. Yeah. And then, Declan, you'd be clicking your remote. Yeah. Beep, cool. Beep. Uh, risky standard, Kurt? Yeah. Oh, and I find it. Barely, but I do. Oh, I thought you were... <laughs> <laughs> Move that two out of the way. Oh, it's a six. <laughs> <laughs> it's right hiding right behind Flip the that two. two upside down. That's a six. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit. Yeah, you don't, you forget to take the UV filter off, and it kind of just fucks <laughs> up your view. Yeah, that's fair. And kind of point in a direction you think is right, but you guys just wander for longer and longer. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. So, mm. what's your plan now? Yeah, I man, I got an idea. I'm hoping <laughs> that tell. clock is ominous. I know. I'm I'm wondering what might be down here <laughs> that we didn't see the last of. Johnny Appleseed. Uh, okay. I mean, what else? Paul Bunyan, right? Paul Bunyan or the bull didn't die. <laughs> Busted ass bulls chasing us down. It's got like a broken leg. Or uh, who was the third character that that kid hung out with? There's a movie where a kid like meets John Henry and some and like two other mythical figures. Mm-hmm. Oh, if the Mark Twain one? I think so. I, I have no idea. You're thinking of Liberty's Kids? <laughs> that doesn't sound right. No, not animated. It's like a live action like kids movie where a kid, I don't know if he hallucinates or is supposed to be time traveling, but he like meets these Ah, uh, I'm going to look this up. I can't take it anymore. Proceed. Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Definitely oh. not. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> um, I could maybe consort maybe the town that we were went to had like a radio tower or something so there's like a distant blinking red light if i succeed like around the wilderness but you still need to be able to get radios broadcast and things like that some sign of industry i not seeing yeah no so worries i would thus i not getting what you're meaning by that no i was just thinking like a telephone like broadcasting network or like a tower somewhere in the distance you know they have like the red lights that kind of blink on the top to me that'd be more a survey then because you're okay physical you're not talking with people oh consort could maybe be like a river like maybe we didn't find a road but maybe there's some other landmark then like there's a river that leads uh through the center of the uh, park back towards civilization Because, like, we haven't found the road, but maybe we could find something else. How's that consort, though? Because then it's we would know what to look for. Currently, without any information, we don't know what to look for. But if someone was like, hey, you ever get lost in there? Oh, like, I see. Yeah. Like, if you can't find the road, at least you can find the river. We need Just a flashback. Yeah, I want a flashback. <laughs> yeah, all right. That's fine. I'm up for that. Okay. Um, I got one fucking pip in this so we'll see what happens i'll give you a die i'll give you a die i can't t- we can't take any more <laughs> uh, yeah we're gonna die out here otherwise uh risky standard kurt yeah i can't oh, <laughs> i can't that's hilarious <laughs> yeah it, it's it, it the flashback is uh when we were in one of the swings where you were into abel and not atlas and so we were hanging out in town talking to someone but um <laughs> <laughs> they're too busy they're too busy putting their hands in each other's back pockets to remember what the guy said. Yeah. Oh, I'm gonna vomit. 